Yes, I'm stuck in the middle with you. That song inspired the title for the pep talk that I sent to my rhymos. I don't know if that's where their mind immediately went, but I thought day 15 and I thought stuck in the middle with you, so. Maybe for next year, I'll do like a NaNoWriMo Spotify playlist where like each day has its own theme song. I'm already thinking about next year. What is my problem? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 15 of NaNoWriMo. Halfway. Yes. I just finished sending out a pep talk to my region. I'm about to go to my favorite coffee shop and I have a three hour ride in later today and it's just like everything is looking up. This halfway day is going to be awesome. I hope your halfway day is going to be awesome. I'm filming this before I've actually written anything today, so there's no update from me yet. I'll just put how I did today in the description box down below like always. So here is current me hoping future me puts in some work, okay? Let's get them words. I was looking at motivational quotes while writing my pep talk, so it got me thinking about the role that other writers play in our own success. Because first and foremost, you have those writers that you aspire to be like. You know, the ones that are already famous, they're already published, maybe multiple times over. They have done what a lot of us want to do. I know for a lot of people my age, the queen is JK Rowling. Because it's not just about specific quotes, but it's about the writer who first introduced you to a world so like enthralling and mesmerizing and made such a huge impact on your life and you thought that you wanted to do something like that for someone else. It's about who you want to be. Like when I grow up, says the adult, <laughs> when I grow up, I would love to be JK Rowling. If you're looking for craft or writing specific motivation, I cannot recommend enough Brandon Sanderson. And I was talking to Brooke at By the Brook about this, but he has an amazing lecture series on YouTube, so click off of this video. I assure you, you don't need me. But even better than that, it's his podcast called Writing Excuses, which he does with a few friends that are also writers, and all of the episodes are 15 minutes or less. It is it is perfect. They cover such a wide range of topics. You can really start anywhere, but I've been trying to make my way through the beginning and I still have a whole bunch of episodes left. And it's just the perfect digestible amount and they have such great advice and they're varying degrees of popularity and it's just really cool to hear what all of them have to say. For quotes specifically, I really like the Robert Frost one, which is, no tears in the writer, no tears in the reader, no surprises for the writer, no surprises for the reader. And I know with the whole plotter versus pantser debate, just because you're a plotter, it doesn't mean that you've written the words yet. There's always surprises. You want your readers to be as attached to the characters as you are. And it sounds a little bit crazy that you would like move yourself with your writing, but I mean, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> While I'm editing, which I do want to talk about because I am doing that simultaneously with NaNoWriMo this year, I am editing a previous draft of a story. I'm working on draft two more or less, and I am working on this current first draft for NaNoWriMo. And so I'm, I'm using my two different brains. I'm using my editing brain and my writing brain. And it's always interesting when they get merged in this cross section. But my favorite quote about editing is from Elmore Leonard. And it goes, if it sounds like writing, I rewrite it. And I find that just to be so helpful and so true to what I aspire my writing to be. I dream of having the perfect flow of narrative and story that it's just, it feels seamless. Like there's no work being done at all in the reader's side because I'm the kind of person, and I talk to my friends that I know, they're not that way, but I know that some people are. So if you are, or if you're not, you know, shout me out below. But I'm the kind of person who, when I pick up a book, I understand that there are words on a page. I know that I'm physically reading, but it's like something magical transforms in a span of like just minutes or seconds, depending on how amazing the writing is. It's, it's like I don't even see the book. It's now I have this movie and this picture in front of my eyes and then something interrupts you. It pulls you out of the story because there's some kind of problem with the writing and you're just like, ah. No! It all can come to a screeching halt so quickly. I did actually end up using one quote in my pep talk and it's from Neil Gaiman and it's one word after another. That's all you have to do is put one word after another and keep going that until you reach the end. It's the mantra that helps me most because even when I'm stuck, I know that if I just put one word after another, I form a sentence and then I form another sentence and then I have a paragraph and then I have a page and then I have a whole chapter. You know, that's 
sometimes when I'm sitting there, that's just what I have to do. I have to write myself through things. But published famous authors aren't the only ones who have a huge impact on our writing selves and on our writing journey. It is the other Rimos, the other writers in our area, you know, even the other YouTubers who are talking about writing. It's all about the community who's doing the same thing and it's where you are right now. And then it's about the beta readers, the alpha readers, other people who know and love the act of writing. They're with us from the beginning through hopefully when we become like the Brandon Sanderson's of the world. <laughs> All right, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Fingers crossed that you and I both get a whole lot of words in for day 15. Please comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite writing quotes are or what writers you aspire to be like or who in your writing community has helped you the most. And also let me know if you see a movie in your head when you're reading so that I can go to my friends and be like, aha, I am not alone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna head to my write-in. I will see you all tomorrow for day 16. Bye.